It is day number four now of doing barrier wall at night time once again. Getting this truck ready. This time I'm putting this truck, mine, inside so that way it's a little safer at night time. We had an incident uh, a couple days ago with one of our workers' vehicles. So this is going inside. Uh, I'm very tired. I'm physically exhausted, mentally exhausted, and I've gotten like six hours of sleep in the past five days. And uh, I'm doing extremely heavy manual labor for hours on end without stopping, which I do enjoy in a way. It gives me a workout, gives me keeps me busy, and you know, time goes by quick. But when it all stops and you rest for a second, you you feel it. I fell asleep driving home last night. I had to pull over and sleep in my truck, and just turn around and go right back to work. Uh, but tomorrow night will be the last night. But for now, let's get this moved into the shop. Oh, when I had my pickup truck and I was working nights for quite some time. Uh, I actually did the same thing. I just parked my truck, personal vehicle, inside our shop. It just makes it to where your vehicle is less likely to be tampered with if it's leave, left outside in the parking lot overnight. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, our shop's in actually a fairly nice neighborhood, but we still have to make sure that we are careful with everything, especially with the way the world's going right now. You always want to make sure that you're being as careful as you can with what you have because you never know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to pull my truck a little far in because I think my coworker Scott is going to be working tonight too and he's going to want to put his little Kia Soul into here. But yeah, our shop is big enough to fit our trucks. We have all our trucks inside right now except for truck 31 because that's out and truck 22 is out front. That's the one I'm driving tonight. Truck 28 is in here. 31 is out on the job like I said. But we've been parking all our trucks inside here along with the paint trucks because of the fact that people are siphoning gas and fuel and everything else. Now, of course, our TMAs, our five TMAs that we have here, uh, these are all sitting outside because those three can't be moved. We can't do anything with those. They're broke. That one, that one, we can't do anything with either as they can't fit into here. But in the meantime, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to eat a little bit of something, and I'm going to scoot on up to that job. Uh, I'm on my way heading down the site now. Uh, just left racetrack, got myself a body armor and a coffee. Uh, usually I get hot coffee, but this time I'm trying a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. See how that goes. But uh, I'm on my way to the site. I'm leaving a little bit early because I don't know how traffic's going to be. And uh, hopefully tonight and tomorrow night are the last nights. My boss texted me and let me know that, hey, you know, these tomorrow night should be your last night. You're just laying spikes, which are the spikes that go into the ground that I explained about yesterday in the last vlog. Um, but this has been one of the longest weeks of work I think I've ever had in my life. It has been a normal week, as in, you know, it's not lo actually longer. It just feels very, very long due to the simple fact of the type of work I'm doing. Uh, the, the, the intensity of the work is unlike anything I've ever done. And the gentlemen that do this kind of work are, I, I gotta give them credit. I don't know how they do it. Uh, I'm used to doing my MOT, which is your lane closures, your road signs, your uh, road closures, uh, attenuator trucks, uh, you know, stuff like that. I never did bury wall before this week. Uh, it started Sunday night and it is Wednesday night now. And it feels like I've been working for three months and I've only been working for four days. Uh, it, it's been an absolutely insane time, and in a good way and bad way. Uh, in a good way because I'm getting to learn new things. Uh, in a bad way because of the fact that the amount of strain it's putting on me, and I'm trying to figure out personally how to cope with it. Uh, I'm not used to sleeping during the day. I, I've been on days for quite some time now. I have worked night jobs many times, but nothing like this to where I'm so exhausted where I can sleep for two hours and go right back to work. And uh, I thought energy drinks would be a nice cope for it, but I was very wrong because I felt like absolute garbage last night after drinking two monster energies. So tonight I'm trying to body armor. I got this energizing green tea stuff that hopefully won't kill me, and uh, mocha iced coffee. I'm gonna see if those will help me at all. Uh, and I can't promise anything about recording if I will or will not be able to record for the simple fact that these gentlemen do work in the rain. I'm gonna be with them working in the rain for rains, and as you can tell, it's looking looking like it's gonna rain. 
and so I wound up just leaving my phone in the truck because other than doing the little clips, I have no reason for having my phone with me. Uh, a lot of the guys don't care if I do the short three or four second clips of like a truck coming in or something being unloaded. <laughs> I like, uh, <coughs> sorry, dying. Uh, I like doing the little clips because then I can put them on YouTube or put them on Instagram or Facebook and I'll have something personal to look back on and say that's what I was doing then. And uh, it's, it's really neat to get to have a job that I'm proud of and that I get to show off and that some people don't even know about or know what I do. Some people don't know what traffic control even is. So it's really neat getting to do this kind of stuff. But let me get off of here so I can drive to site. I'll probably do one more clip as I'm pulling into site. And then from there, I will be just working and I may or may not be doing clips while I'm working. I have no clue. I just pulled on the site now. Uh, we have a little incident. This windshield wiper here keeps breaking and it's been pouring rain all night. I almost got an accident in the way because it broke while I was using it. Uh, so I keep pulling over a little bit late the site. My guys are actually way back there with that blinking light does that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there, figure things out. Uh, probably won't be able to record too, too much tonight, but uh, I bait the site. So far, it's been a bit of a rough night. Uh, just pulling up here for a second. Got all the sticks off my truck, but every single one of these has been had to be pounded in. And when you pound them in, you use another stake to pound them in as hard as you can to get through any layers of asphalt and dirt that didn't go through. My hands are bleeding, my feet are bleeding. It is, uh, it's been rough. Oh, well, it was a long night. My hands are bloody, my feet are bloody, and my boots are all kind of torn to shreds, to be honest with you. Uh, Originally, from what I was told, spiking wasn't going to be that hard of a job and all that. But uh, in the end, it actually wound up being a lot more of a hassle. Uh, the spikes we're using was actually from another company. Uh, the company I worked for purchased another company's old spikes that they were retiring. And that company was retiring those spikes for a very good reason. And uh, we wound up purchasing them and we got stuck with them. And what that entailed was a bunch of bent spikes that were covered in rust and were a complete hassle to try and drive into the ground. And uh, so each one you had to pound in. The guys from Tampa, they brought some brand new ones that just slid in perfectly. But we had two trucks drilling at once and we worked from, I think it was 8 p.m until 1.15 a.m. and it was an extremely bad night. Uh, an inspector came by, talked to us, and told us, hey, you know, this is say you left at three, so we got a couple, uh, one or two, you know, good hours uh, free, so where is a good night. So we're gonna head back to the shop, get my stuff situated, uh, clean up my truck a little bit, and start heading on back home.